Okay, so I'm just going to give some helpful tips on what I believe is one of the most intimidating tricks in the any percent and all events run of Tomba. Um, it's called Phoenix Mountain Skip. I'll just quickly show off what it is. So as you can see, there's a cutscene. If you've played this game before, you'll know there's a cutscene that initiates here. Uh, what we're going to do... So, what I've done is I've activated the save sign just before I activate the cutscene with the uh, Backers Village Mice. And what that allows me to do is regain control of Tomba while I'm um, in the middle of the cutscene. So this saves, if done correctly, it saves around 15 seconds in the run because that way you don't have to sit through the cutscene and you can move around and don't have to spam through the text. So, I'm just going to give a couple of helpful tips on how to achieve this. Because it is quite difficult to pull off and it is frame perfect. So I'm just going to reload my save data and get us to the right point. So, what you may have seen me do on my webcam is I was spamming circle and square in a motion. My, I was pressing circle with my middle finger and square with my index finger and then pressing X to um, uh, skip through the stormy mountain text that comes up. So that's what you have to do to initiate it. You can get further into the sign than I just did there. So what you can do is you press circle square X, so square, X. Now, because it's frame perfect, see, that's me missing it. Um, I was not perfect on the time I pressed square. So you let go, you use circle to cancel the sign, and then you press square to activate it again. You have to do those in the correct motion, otherwise you miss it. So, this is what it means by frame perfect. You have to do those in the correct motion every time to get it. It doesn't necessarily matter how you do it the first couple of frames. It always matters on the last frame. And I'll show you what the, what the correct frame will look like. So, gonna get into position here. So do buffering, buffering. So okay, right there. Tomba slightly moved upwards, and that's how you know you're on the correct frame. If he slightly rolls up a hill, like a very slight incline, he'll kind of like go a bit higher. Um, that's how you know you're on the correct frame. So right at this point, I have to go circle square. Too fast, so. If you could hear that, I like kind of mashed circle and square at the same time and that kind of didn't work. So you can do it too fast or you can do it too slow and it's kind of a precise input. But when he moves up on the incline, that's how you know you're on the correct frame. The frames before it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of input you put in for those. So if you like miss the correct frame for those, it doesn't really matter as long as you're still progressing through the buffering. Um, it's mainly just to put you into the correct frame so that when you're before it or when you're before the cutscene initiates, you know when to do it. So what I tend to do is I do it as fast as possible. I don't, don't, I don't even wait around. I don't try and get the correct frame and then panic on the last frame or anything like that. I just go, I just get the rhythm set for each buffering and just continue it until I get to the very end. And usually I'll get it because I have the correct rhythm. So. There you go. So yeah. So it gives you full control during the cutscene. I hope that's helpful. Later guys.